There's not much access to electricity in Mali, so using fans or air conditioners to get relief from extreme heat is nearly impossible. That means heat stroke can kill. If someone comes with a fever at 42 degrees, then to break it, you have to put ice on them or put them under air conditioning or circulate the air. You've got to do this within 40 minutes, otherwise people will get lesions on their vital organs. When that happens, even if the fever is beaten, the organ damage can result in death. We've been receiving patients in these conditions and it's too late to do anything for them. At least 100 people have died in the capital Bamako. The figure could be much higher elsewhere in Mali. Meteorologists measured a temperature of 48.5 degrees Celsius in one town on April the 4th. That's the highest ever recorded on the African continent. Our parent died a week ago because of the heat. And when we came here to pray, the cemetery guard told us there were 15 to 20 burials a day of people who died from the heat. The heat wave is being blamed on the El Nino weather pattern and man-made climate change. According to the World Meteorological Organization, temperatures in most land areas worldwide will be above normal until at least May, when El Nino will start to weaken. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.